Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Talk of the Town with me, Lynn About Town, here in sunny, normally sunny Clearwater, Florida. It is now very, very heavy rain, Florida, and uh, that is what we like. We like this time of year um, for all of our grass and our gardens and our very sandy soil. It uh, doesn't retain a lot of water, so this time of year when everything's growing, we need lots and lots of rain to keep flowing through and feeding our trees and our plants and our lawns and all kinds of garden beds we are doing here in, in lovely Florida. I want to talk about gardening because in the state of Florida, we actually had a new gardening law. And um, our governor, Governor DeSantis, signed HB 82 on June 27th, and it became law on July 1st. Uh, thanks to a Miami Shores couple. Um, her name was Hermione Ricketts and her husband, Tom. Um, they We now have the right to garden anywhere on our properties. So this includes your front yard. And why is that important? Now, I don't want to get into an argument about, you know, what that might look like to someone or the fact that you might think that someone gardening in their front yard is unsightly. Um, I can just tell you this. When you take the time <clears throat> and spend the money to own a home, um, then that home should be your castle. That's my gut, you know, very raw feeling about that. Of course, we don't want unsightly neighbors and things that cause uh, our property values to go down. But the city pretty much has laws and things like that with zone enforcement to, you know, keep that in, in control. And I can tell you from living here for 15 years, the city of Clearwater is uh, pretty ruthless in their endeavors to keep code enforcement right. I see them coming around neighborhoods, my own neighborhood, et cetera, and I know that that is the case. But why is this important? So a lot of us in Florida have very short, very small backyards. Now, my neighborhood, I'm lucky. I live on a cul-de-sac and I have a pie-shaped lot and I have more property than, you know, all the people in my neighborhood. Uh, the the four houses that are on my street, you know, me and the guy next to me have the best lots. So I have room for oak trees and swing sets and I could put a pool in my backyard, although it would be tight because where the fence line is, it's kind of short. So I might need to put my tomato plants or my pepper plants or my trellis for my gourds or, you know, whatever in my front yard. And to grow food in this beautiful climate um, and to be able to feed your family and do something organically and, you know, put delicious salads and keep your family healthy is definitely something that more people should do. If you were limited to doing that in your front yard, but your town wouldn't allow you or the state wouldn't allow you, I find that to be wrong. So I am really into this law. I'm so glad it passed. Uh, my husband and I always pass this one guy. He is like, he doesn't, speaks very little English. We pulled over to talk to him one day. He is using his front yard so amazingly responsibly he's growing on beans on on string and it's neat and it's it's just amazing and I think at one point he was told to stop and I always felt bad about that so when this law passed uh, my husband actually pulled his car over to tell him hey buddy get going you're fine <laughs> you know you're you're fully legal with the state so anyway I think that that is really cool and if you didn't uh if you weren't involved with gardening, I, you know, you might not know about that or why that would be important. So I say grow, people, grow. Uh, in fact, I have a little plant that I'm going to show and surprise my coworker, David. This is uh, a stevia plant or stevia, however you pronounce it. Uh, this was grown by our IT guy, Dave Reedy. Dave, thank you. I brought him into uh, organic Thai basil plants today. And he brought me in this stevia. So I'm looking forward to growing it. Apparently, it is very sweet. It is uh, where the stevia supplements or the uh, 
sweeteners you buy come from. Um, but I think it's going to be great to have it in, in raw growing form. I think it's going to take off in my yard and I plan on putting it in lemonades and drinks and researching, you know, a whole new thing. What is stevia? How do you use it? How can I, you know, make things better with it? So thank you, David. And I think that there's like exchanges. My friend, uh, Joyce Durnell on Facebook, Joyce has a great Facebook page where she'll swap out plants or just started this community where if you want seeds or if you want seedlings, she'll, you know, uh, connect everybody up. And uh, I'm going to put some of my papaya trees on there. So shout out to people who are, you know, bringing communities together creatively. And uh, thank you for social media for being there to be able to do that.